right, so today we are going to practice on how to get closer to objects or things we want to reach or pick up. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration in a small uh, living room first, and um, I'm going to do a table in our dining room, uh, and then I will do the kitchen. So uh, let's see uh, what is helpful. And this, again, will take practice. <laughs> it's not something that I can just show you and then you know it. Uh, you have to practice and uh, a little bit at a time. This might help. Manual wheelchairs as well. I did it from a power wheelchair, obviously. Uh, but you can um, practice in your manual wheelchair as well. So then it will be in reverse because I learned these skills from manual wheelchair users. <laughs> So, uh, so thank you for that. Uh, but this is me now in a power wheelchair, and uh, these are important skills. Uh, so you don't get frustrated in your home trying to reach objects, trying to be in the right uh, position so that you can reach over and not bend over and hurt yourself. All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. This is Lisa. Of course, you already know who I am. Today we're gonna to work on um, how to get closer to furniture, whether it's at a table where you're gonna eat or other small tables or other furniture. So uh, this was a request from one of the sub subscribers. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'm doing this in the morning where sometimes there's a lot of traffic. And uh, so uh, we'll see how it goes. But I think this morning, uh, right after breakfast, it kind of gets quiet, so I will go and do this uh, video. I'll be right back. All right, so this is a small spot where there's a couple of different pieces of furniture, and I am going to practice getting uh, to a small table, and all you're going to be seeing is my feet because I want you to see the footrest So while I do this. So uh, I'm going to turn you around. All right, so there's a little table here with newspapers and things. So if I try this way, obviously I'm going to be pretty far from it. You know, I'm going to have to lean over, and some of you can't do that. So I am going to um, do this again. So you're going to see my feet. And I'm going to do it at an angle and then pull over a little bit. Now I'm very close to the newspapers and I can touch them. I can pick them up and do whatever I need to do. And I'm sideways, you know, side by side. Now if you're practicing getting into a chair, one of these chairs, um, one of the things you're going to have to do is always get at an angle. So here's my feet, here's this recliner, and I'm going to be at an angle to be able to transfer. Okay, so for that, for the transfers, you want to be at an angle. But for the newspapers, you want to be at side by side. Here I am at an angle, I'm turning around, and here I am, side by side. So you might have to review this video quite a few times and that's fine. Um, here we have a beautiful fireplace. <laughs> you might want to be side by side to the fireplace, I don't know. I'm just doing a video here, so you can ignore me. <laughs> All right. In a previous video, I said, you know, it's very hard to be in a wheelchair and have chairs there and having to push the chair out of the way at the last minute. So the best thing to do is to take the chair away 
<laughs> so people are laughing at me right now, but that's okay. <laughs> so if you take the chair away, then you can just do, you can just zoom up, and there you are. You don't have to pull a chair away. It's best to do this way before the meal. <laughs> take the chair away, like this spot here, and you can just zoom in. All right. So let's see what else we can get side by side here. You can do it in the kitchen. Kitchen is a little busy, but. Now to the drawers, you don't want to get too close <laughs> because then you'll block it. So you can be at an angle like I am right here. So, and then you can reach over to the drawer and open it up without any obstacle in front of it. So, at an angle, like that. For stoves, for stoves, you, it just depends on the size of your stove, but for this one, you wanna be, you know, um, you want to be in the front, but you can also move over to side by side. So you're the closest you can. This is a big industrial sink, <laughs> which I usually don't use. But to wash your hands, if this was a regular sink, you want to be side by side. And again, you want to come at an angle. There we go, at an angle, and then turn yourself a little bit, and now you're side by side. With a refrigerator, it's more complicated. <laughs> I'm gonna back up here. You wanna be at an angle away from the door so you can open it. You don't wanna get it stuck on your footrest. <laughs> But, so there you go, I should be further back. But you wanna be at an angle away from the door itself so you can open it and then pull side by side. Same thing with the cart. You want to be at an angle, then slowly turn, and now you're side by side with the cart. You can pick up anything you need. That was it for the demonstrations. As you can see, I was a little bit too close to the refrigerator door, <laughs> which was getting stuck on my footrest. So you want to do your calculations there. Um, but then once the door is open, then you can pull yourself, you know, side by side. So, you know, review this video. Um, I'm hoping it was helpful. You know, there are other videos out there that can uh, provide you also with some ideas and, and skills. And I will look for those. Uh, but if this made sense, then go ahead and, and practice. You know, I had to practice, you know, I crashed a few times, but then I practiced over and over, and then, then I got it, then I got it. Because it's like, kind of like, I don't know if you've ever driven a car, but when you drive a car for the first time, it's, it really helps to get to know the space of your car, how big it is, you know, in parking and that kind of stuff. So same thing with a power wheelchair, you have to, you know, get used to the space around your power wheelchair so you know uh, how far and how near you can get to objects um, without, without bumping into them. So um, I'm, I'm hoping those ideas help. But, you know, practicing more and more with your manual wheelchair or your power wheelchair, you get used to the weight, the size, um, where you can fit in, uh, and how to maneuver and how to get into those angles 
and then pull yourself, you know, side by side. So again, it takes practice. I could say it a million times here or show you a million times, but you know, it takes practice. You gotta practice yourself and test and see if you, you can do it on your own. So if you run into too much trouble um, and you just can't do it there, then um, you know, call your therapist, your physical therapist, and they can certainly help you with that. Uh, but I, I think it was, it was pretty clear, and y you just need to kind of get used to your space around your power wheelchair, the size of your power wheelchair, how fast it goes, um, and, and just slow it down. On your speed dial, slow it down, so that helps you as you, as you practice. All right, any questions, let me know. Any difficulties, let me know, um, and I can do another video. Uh, in a different way so that it is it is helpful. So I, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to film it, you know, with, with just myself. <laughs> so I'm hoping that, um, you know, just uh, filming my feet <laughs> was, was good. I, I was a little dizzy actually watching the video and my feet on the carpet. So if that happens to you, just look away <laughs> for a few seconds. <laughs> All right. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.